hello. Ah, so that's an extra life. This is like much brighter than the other game. More like peaceful. Hey! Can I go swimming? There's gotta be a way. Um... Am I not allowed to do that yet? I guess I'm not allowed to yet. Okay. Fine. Just go about collecting the other gems. So this is definitely gonna be... interesting. Because in this one, it's a lot of collecting abilities to go back and get gems. Let's see what the, the animation is for the sheep. Oh, It's the same one from the last game, but it's still adorable. Maybe I shouldn't say a death animation is adorable, but it kind of is adorable. If I'm making anybody dizzy with this camera, I am sorry. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Okay. I mean, I'm not too mad about money bags being kicked out. I'll be honest. I hear frog. I know I'm supposed to go down there. Are you mean? No? Okay. Good. Any hidden gems? There's another gem right over there. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna forget somewhere where I need to backtrack. I already have a ladder I need to do and a swimming thing I need to do, and I don't have any of those abilities. Unless I'm just being crazy. But I pushed a lot of buttons when I was sitting there floating in that river. <laughs> water. <laughs> this is like so peaceful and relaxing. Oh, I remember this. This is the gliding challenge where he jumps. I remember this. I want this orb. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Oh, I know. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. I got this. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Okay. Oh, I wasn't at the end of my jump, apparently. Alright. I'm embarrassing myself. I'm a dragon. I could do this. Heck, in the last game, I learned how to fly. To hover, press the action button. I pressed it. Okay, so I don't have to continue holding the X button down 
That's that's where I was messing up at. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Okay. Wow, that was close. you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. I mean, I don't know what these orbs are for, but if they're as important as everybody seems to make them out to be, I feel like... Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Um, they should just give them to me without making me do all these challenges. That way I'll have as many as... There is so much. Come on. There's gotta be like... Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Of course. How much is it? 500 gems to teach me how to swim. It's not even swimming. It's like he's going to teach me how to sink because I can already swim. Look, I can swim fine. He's literally going to teach me how to sink. Uh, fine. Alright, where did we come in at? Right here. So, I think Idle Springs is where we need to go. And I thought there was a skill point. Land on Idle. Okay. Well, whatever that means, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Poor dude. <laughs> and look, if you look at the uh, the counter, it now says I have zero of those other things. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. I'm just watching him hit people with a marshmallow. Ow! Ow! Okay, I can't help you. Goodbye. Of the idol, so I'm assuming we get up there eventually. Yeah, see, there we go. It's giving me one again. So I'm wondering what, what exactly that is. Hmm. I love how they have like little like food on like and whatnot. This one has a hot dog. What? I really need to get better at aiming that charge.
Um, do you need a second Those to yourself, sir? are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge. I already figured that out. I mean, now that enemies have their own specific uh, drop other than gems, it'll be easier to tell if I'm missing just regular gems or an enemy. So that'll be nice. I also like these butterfly bottles. from to aim the camera left or right use the right stick yeah I see anything out here land on some of these tiki's, these idols or whatever. I wonder what that is for. It's gotta be something. Is this on uh, idol? On idol. Land on idol. So just any idol or is there, or is it an enemy idol? Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Thank you. I don't think I ever want to live here. No offense, but uh... Your inhabitants are kind of weird. There's some kind of puzzle here. What the heck is going on over here? Do I even want to know? I don't feel like I do. back to the beginning. I don't know if I was supposed to do this or not. Maybe. Oh, that's way too far. 
There's no way I could do that. What idol is it talking about then? Oh no. Alright, let's see what's up here. one of these. You know what? Maybe it means that other idol across the way. Maybe? Just maybe. Because I feel from that other ledge over there, I could probably get on top of that one. Right? get that other I don't know what's going on there I'll figure it out in a second but I have to go get that other bit of gems at the very beginning of the level again because if not I'll forget all right and I just saw those gems down there which I'm not gonna be able to get until I pay money bags or will I Thank you, Sparks. So if I can get close to- oh no, there's a bunch of bottles and stuff. Yeah, I'll have to come back once I pay money bags. But first let's go see what that, like, sacrificing the woman is for. What's going on there? Maybe save her, I don't know. Do we want to save her? I don't know. Maybe we should just watch what happens. have much hope for this uh, species of creatures. I have to hit each one of those off. I need to have this lined up precisely. It's gonna be so hard to do. Uh. girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Thank you. I have hope for you guys. You actually seem to know what you're doing. I have no clue how close I am to having the rest of the gems in this area. But we'll just leave and we'll come back later. Now we have enough to buy the swim ability. Huh. Oh. 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 
Looks like they made friends. Oh, and it shows me that I've already gotten the the talisman for the world, I guess. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Okay. I really wish I didn't have to pay you for that, but whatever. Do I have like any kind of breath thing or can I just breathe indefinitely underwater? Because I don't see anything regarding breath or anything. Continuing on. Wait a second. There's an orb just floating there. <laughs> 